and we have a special guest. We we have we have Victor here. Lenze, flat thumbs. <laughs> yeah, everything's good. Flat thumbs. For sure, Victor. Very yes. good that you be our guest. Oh, it's a pleasure in mine to be here uh, with you guys. You know, so thank you for all the shares and uploads and for those kind words. Yeah, really appreciate, guys. Thank you. Yeah, sure. I also sent flatten the curve to Lindsay, and she will upload it very soon. I think. Wow, that's great! Thank you. Yes, Thank you, Lindsay. Me. I've, I've got some baby difficulties right now. Uh, many. Ah, it's all right. It's no problem. We all. <laughs> maybe you hear well, some. Yeah, maybe yeah. the horses and dogs and chickens <laughs> in my background because I also live off grid. So. Oh wow. When I'm not speaking, I'm gonna mute the mic. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Rolly. Yeah, I'm so tired. Do, okay. do, do you know Rolly, Vika? I think. Hey, hey, Rolly. How yeah. are you? Oh. I think he's. We get. He's loud. Yeah. So he speaks English or German? That he speaks. Uh, yeah. No, oh. no, yeah. We're, we're, in we're in Chicago here, so we're. Okay. Yeah. Uh, all right, I thought you also from Germany. All no, right. no, no. Super yeah. American. Aber Vika, wenn du gut oh. Deutsch kannst, können, können wir gerne mal eine deutsche, eine deutsche Übertragung machen, mein Freund. Ich verstehe es. Ich verstehe es. Deutsch, äh, klein, klein, klein. Uh, I, I, I understand German, Swiss German, but I have to practice to start speaking again. But yeah, I used to speak yeah. before. Can I ask you how old are you, brother? I'm I'm gonna be completing this year 48. Yeah, that's why I'm not doing the video chat because I'm for my age I'm too good looking. I don't want the viewers to get distracted, you know. So <laughs> <laughs> nah, just joking, you know. I, I have to still make my setup video setup with the green screen and everything. So maybe in the future, sure. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, I want to say thank you. You did really a good flat earth presentation. A flat earth film yes. and i can i can say it to you uh to the public uh also show hibler watch the movie and he told me that's pretty pretty fine uh, pretty good yeah there are some raving reviews about the documentary i know it's not perfect in audio wise in some places but the people don't understand that it's a whistleblower documentary okay some yeah, of the sure. contacts we had just was a one-time contact and we had to work with what we had, you know, so we made, we don't did it purposely to make it annoying. It was, you know, we made our best to be less, you know, smooth as possible. The important is that the message reached to the people. The people should be glad that the message is reached, you know, so, oh. so apart sure. from that, you know, about some audio stuff, the the documentary turned out pretty well, you know, so everybody, yeah. most of the reviews are positive than negative. We can't make happy everyone, right? You know, we can't. There's so many people, so many different views, ideas, they want things. And, you know, we're still getting comments and messages and email, you know, you should do like this and like that, you know. <laughs> yeah, all right. We're going to try to make it better always. So. Yeah, that's true. We can yeah it's easy to say you should do this that or the other it's like oh would you like to go and uh do this yourself and make your own movie and do it the way that you you know the way that you say it should be done easier said than done right all right so which other specific parts you like some parts like that you i'm open to you to listen and or something special you like didn't like whatever you both of you many uh what should i say <laughs> <laughs> I, I only can say Rick, uh, at the beginning of the film uh your intro was very very cool and then the girl who speaks of the truth i love her voice who is this girl woman oh this is one of our uh it's, yeah it's from a is it's a band called earth fish they have some amazing songs called earth fish on youtube you can find yeah. them and she's yeah. the lead singer of that group and she's the narrator for for the opening yeah she's an amazing talent too yeah 
She so, has an open mind. We call Ale Alejandra Mirjana. Her name is Alejandra Mirjana, and the group she's from is called Earthfish. It's an amazing song yeah. called Now and a few others. Yeah. Maybe um, you can maybe you can tell the uh, viewers from which country you are and when you get to be again to be a flat earther. Oh, the flat earther! I, I live in Spain, you know. So I've been living in different countries, and and I speak various languages, and including German. I used to speak, so I right now I speak Spanish, and so many things. You know, I've been a flat earther maybe more than four years. So, but the first year was passive and just watching what's been happening, and I was like. There came a time and I would say, yeah, this is enough, you know, I have to take things in my hand in some ways, you know, so I started doing observations and making contents. I have more than 60 videos. I have, I run maybe three, four pages on, on Facebook, maybe five groups that I f uh, created myself. Uh, yeah. And then I'm adding yeah. also in a few other groups. So Instagram, Telegram, Rumble, BitChute, Odyssey, you can just, the, the list is just never ending. So. So all this in yeah. four years and everything growing up supposed to happen in a way because also the documentary just didn't manifest itself. You know, the all, most of the people from the production team and the participants were from one of my main group called World Flat Earth Association, which was in the making in three years. And so everything was there. Most of the people, you know, most of their testimony, yeah. most of their comment was there already, you know, in these two, three years. And and the idea of making the documentary is more than a year, but it took a year for us to get everything together and start working on mm -hmm. it and and the things evolved and so very nice. Yes, what I what I really love about it is that I feel that um, it's it's an opportunity what you've done to to bring some some real sense and logic into the equation because for so long it's just criticizing flat earthers calling them fools and saying don't you don't you know anything about science and but what what you've done has made a, a very accessible and digestible uh, delivery mechanism to share with people who who can appreciate facts and and testimonies um, and it bridges that gap from in my mind a bit and I'm looking forward to sharing it with my family, who's uh, who's all very dedicated Globies. And I'm just like, man. But <laughs> so thank you. Thank you for everything that you've done, because we need that so yeah. desperately. You're welcome. We all did to this together because everyone is playing a part, you know, to get the truth out, you know, from the smallest contribution to the medium to the even the sharing and liking and commenting and taking to the people is all part of the of the big puzzle that we have to solve yeah and i have some amazing people reviews of of sending me message in private that there are people literally turning into flat earther with this documentary okay i have That's audio fine. i have comments i have it's so i'm really like we all are really glad that it's making that impact that it was supposed to be and we try to put it in a more simple way you don't have to be a scientist or you don't you don't have to be a specialist in anything, you know. If you understand simple logic, you're going to under understand the documentary. And there is so much information com compact and concentrated in there that you can watch it 10 times and you're going to learn new things. You can really dig on every point sure. and create yeah. new flat earth evidences and prove and investigation and ex experiments so on, you know, so. Yes. Very nice, yeah. What's your favorite part of the documentary, Vika? Oh, the whole, the whole documentary. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I know by baby. memory, you know. So, yeah, I know by memory, you know, each word, you know. You know so we we all worked on it like so long and and try to perfect it so much, and so we are like it's just rolls in our. <laughs> So even the song turned out really amazing, the songs, you know, so, and there's still a lot of stuff. I I could have made the documentary three hours, you know, but I don't want that, you know, we could, we, we want it to be compact, you know, we still have amazing testimony left from, um, you know, few of the people from the documentary, and we are also 
planning on a sequel with new people. We already have people coming forward who was not who was supposed to be in the part one and couldn't, and they want they're gonna be in part two. And we have more new people, so and more new people are gonna are waking up. There are people from all over. We have people, some you know, really credible people, trying to speak to us and come forward, and it's amazing. Yes. Yeah. That's when true. when when might might we uh, look forward to part two? What do you think? Do you have a, a uh, goal in, in mind? In, in the same in, next year, in the same time, more or less. Yeah, just a okay. year that, from here. That's cool, Rika. Beautiful. That's really let's nice. see how it turns out. Yeah, we wanna we're gonna put all what we learn from here. We're gonna put in there and try to make it more perfect. You know, so more more. Did you know that Sean Hibler made level the film on one laptop? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So, so yeah, I, the technology, I, I, the te yeah, the technology allows us, Bunny. The technology allowing us not only to produce of that quality and but also to reach and everything. It's like kind of we are using their own tech that they try to divide and, and you know. <laughs> Yeah, so let's hope so we are using the same tech to yeah to wake people so, up. You know, we are not making any revolution. We're just telling the people to show that you know, hey, look for your with your yeah. own eyes. You know, what do you see? Do you see a globe or do you see a flat Earth? You know, that's it. And that the people <laughs> yeah. could have some some content and information that the people go can go and compare and decide for themselves and and do their own research. We don't saying don't believe everything because you know so it's so much of info you're going to find pro con of every information out there you know on the web so it's, yeah sure, it's so sure. easy to get lost here yes that's true yeah i love using the tech against them and you know because they they set up everything to distract and to just have a bunch of booty shaking videos on tiktok and instagram and people took these platforms uh, this tech that we have and and have used it for so, so, so much more than that. It's beautiful. Exactly, people people are spending time on the tech in any way, you know, or the people are wasting time, or the people are studying, or people are doing tutorials, or people are doing investigation. So everybody's doing what they can with the tech, and we are doing our part, you know, so, so, and this would have been impossible, like how you say money, you know, like Hibbler made this on the laptop. This wouldn't have been possible 10 years ago, you know, the, true, the sure, yeah. transfer of data, the archive, the sizes, you know, all the all the sounds, the clips, you know, everything was not that fast how we have right now. So that's why it's also it's possible in a way to do something like that, that we get, we have a good content, we have right people, we have the right message and put it in the right way with collaboration from everybody. We can pre create our own amazing products, you know, without depending on any huge, you know, million dollars. Uh, agencies to put our message across because if your if your message is right your content is right you can reach the masses you know you, you, people are reaching millions of people by creating any crap you know anything by TikTok by Instagram by Facebook you know so why can't a real truth message be bought and be reached to the maximum people it's always possible it's just all we all have to even understand it as a community that everybody plays a role. It's not about only making content, getting the truth, and people getting together and putting their effort to make things that go around. But uh, there are many people, it really, you know, it really takes them even to share that hit button and like, you know, for some mm -hmm. reasons, you know. So if everybody would share in the same moment, you know how many people we're gonna reach, okay? So even if we, just an example, I'm not yeah. saying I'm not saying anybody, please yeah, share the ones who feel with it, resonate with it. You know, I'm not saying hey, please share our our stuff. It's just a message for everybody. The people who resonate will gonna share it. But it's the point that we people have the power, you know, of imagine of being a collective or a group, you know. So. If that 100, 200, 500 people are actively working to get that message and that content and everything that you want to maximum people, it works because everybody's doing that input. It's required, okay? Even if it's the yeah. most minimum, but it's required to work, you know? So it's, in the end, it's all about the collective and working together and because that's what makes it possible, you know? So we 
all of us in the movie we just got together and that's just getting together was an explosion okay so that's how it goes so everything we can do we have everything to research and bring forward and break it down to the you know deeper level on every subject so and flat earth is a quite complex subject so, and That's quite true. huge you know you can just yeah so many and different like, opinions you can like, have sorry uh, like santos said it connects everything if you get flat to us it connects everything it really does so um for th for the people out there you mentioned something vika about about um that moment or that decision that you have to come to to actually share something that is so outside of the mainstream in society, something that's going to get you, if you've been a closeted flat earther, if you've been something, like you said earlier, just being a passive person, and, and if it resonates with you, what is it about that moment that, that, um, that allows a person to set aside their fear of rejection, their fear of being called crazy, and to just lean into it and jump in because once you do that right it it changes everything in your life i think when you when you commit to actually walking that path and embracing the truth and not being afraid anymore so so what would you say to people who who say well yeah i'm a flat earther but i don't want people to know well that's uh, because some people will be like you know not so much that they want to know their personal life or their belief to the people but now in new this age of technology and uh, and social media you can really hide what you like what you don't like what you share what are your ideas you know and the algorithm is going to show you and all your friends what you like and what you don't like you know so the people really cannot avoid that but the indoctrination is so deep you know that the people also it takes really an effort to say you know i've been wrong all my life you know I have to look into this and and that's what it takes the most of the effort and that all my degrees all my college all my education all my belief all my thinking is all wrong i have to start from zero you know that's is the main thing you know because they feel okay i'm a flat earther but i can't do that. but it's a part of it because uh, we have to share what we know we cannot l let people live in ignorance because be it your family friend community workmate whoever because once you open your eyes, the way of life changes, as Manny says too, you know, once you realize flat out, there's many things your life can change in seeing the way, how you live your life, how you, how you make decisions, how you, in your work, in your daily life or whatever, you know? So it's in a way important because until you won't do, you're not gonna realize that it works like that, so. Yes. Love Sorry, it. the last word I didn't understand. Do you understand this, Lindsay? Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, just okay. that you, right. yeah, yeah, jumping in, <laughs> and I didn't, <laughs> I didn't think about that, you know, uh, when I was getting into this stuff, I, I used my name from the beginning, my real name, and that's who I am. So that's what it is now. Yeah, I could have maybe planned better, but I didn't realize, you know, I didn't real when I started, I didn't realize that I would at one point be brave enough to be open with my beliefs. But once I, once I actually got to that point, I was like, wait a second, what have I been waiting for? you know, and then embracing that it, it opens up so many more possibilities for how to live. And we've got some, we've got some really wonderful people in the house, Vika. These are yeah. people that mostly we know through the um, Flat, Earth, Brit Flat Earth British Think Tank uh, group. Gen channel group. Yeah, channel. We've got Son of Overbrook. We've got Capalicious 420, all of these wonderful people who I know support your work as well. A big um, hello to everyone too. Yeah. So what's on the agenda, Manny? Uh, Vika, you want to share your screen and want to show you something or? Oh no, I'm on my mobile. I, I won't be screen, screen sharing. Yeah, no problem, brother. But you can tell us whatever you want. Well, you want some, some you want to do some memes with us? <laughs> Ask me or whatever, or we can, or if any people have from the chat have questions about the documentary, anything about anything about flat earth, we can discuss anything. 
Yeah, yeah uh, if you, I could add one thing. I could add one thing that we are starting a podcast, you know, on uh, one of our groups on Facebook called Heliopsychosis because it's a really it's a psychosis because you just don't want to get out of it. So, so we're gonna start a voice podcast. That's like a new feature feature on Facebook. So we want to see how it works and and do some invite some guests and speak about flat earth the flat in the curve and our projects and future projects and so we're planning that too with all the from mostly the yeah. participants from the documentary we have some amazing minds there you know we have uh, rob and taylor the pilot Victor, yeah you if you want i can just a, give a, you yeah. also have a, re a really cool homepage where all the roosters are in Which one? The Truth in Plain Sight? Yeah, the Truth I, in Plain Sight. Uh, yeah, my, my page. Yeah, yeah. Yarek is in, Hebler is in, they are all in. I think this um, is your page, yeah? Uh, which one? Um, um, I, uh, wait a second, I search for it. <laughs> I'm not sure what the <laughs> right name is, Vicka. But you do really RTC, is it? Real truth sticker or something like this? Uh, RTS. Uh, RTS, yeah. Yeah, yeah. real truth seeker dot net. Oh, there's everybody yeah. there also, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Rick is also in. Yeah, real truth yep, seeker. Yep, and a few others, yeah. Yeah, I will, I will post the link under our live in the description box. Okay. Yeah, it's uh, I can I can mention about RTS also. RTS is a is it's a free it's an independent site streaming site yeah. uh, where uh, like viewers and content creators can there's some amazing material there. You know you can upload and watch and it's zero sen censorship and no shadow banning like YouTube, Facebook. You know so yeah. we we've been getting shadow banned on on our documentary on Facebook uh, on Inst on YouTube, you know, they are taking out likes, they're taking out views. It has, it, it should have been double of what is right now, you know, only on, on, but anyway, they, we have everywhere. So even RTS, we have a huge, huge viewership on flatten the curve, you know, so, and also did you mention that we have some amazing people like Rob Taylor, that he's a helicopter pilot. We have Joshua Silva, also another pilot. We have John Nicholson. Another pilot. There are some awesome, and the, our production team also consists of a lot of people from different uh, places. Have... You know. So. Uh, Vika, do you see the screen? Yeah, I'm seeing. Yeah, I can see it. Yeah, and Hippler production is at the first. I I will watch this uh, movie. Where are we? Uh, where should I play it now? I don't know what this is. Was that but just posted it, uh, there today? Mika, what? No, just let it load. Point? Just let it load. It's an ad. It's an ad of one of the video okay. that's on RTS from Hibler's channel. Yeah, so let it load. Yeah. And then we, we will show this to the people. Mm -hmm. Very cool. The show is also at your we've, platform. We've got Glyph in the house. We've got Nas Khan. We've yeah. got Brian Evans wait, and wait. Emmy Ska. I'm seeing some new names coming in here. That's great. Yeah, very cool. Hey, Nas Khan, wait, wait. a big hello, brother. He's one of our admins Nas? from one of our groups. Thanks for joining. Hi. Very cool that you are here. <laughs> yeah, so uh, the video is still loading. So let the video load and we go back to our screen. <laughs> yeah, very, very cool. Heliopsychosis, that's what it is. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> um, so, so, so same, got... this, the same, like, sorry, go ahead. I was going to ask, um, I, I always come back to, um, 
uh, heliopsychosis being uh, the direct result of brainwashing from an early age. So I've got four young children, and um, I don't know how old your children are, um, but but do they? How how do you find uh, how do you find uh, yourself able to reconcile sending them to school and having them learn what's being fed in those? Uh, public indoctrina indoctrination camps with what the truth is? Um, do we just view school as a social outlet or just, you know, take what we can from it? We we can't really run away from the system because they're not going to let you, you know, be it anywhere. You cannot just say, you know, okay. And if you live in a society where, and especially with all the situation, with all the, you know, the mask and uh, all the germ stuff, so... It's the things is really changed. You really don't know what the generation what's coming ahead, what's they're gonna really grasp from this. You know, your your my son is for example thirteen years. You know, he he studies what he needs to do in the school. He does his own watch his own thing, but he also knows I'm a flat earther. He knows many points about that earth being flat. You know, so so it's all uh, it's all depend also on us, but we can't. There's gonna be a time where they're gonna realize by themselves, but it always have it's good to have the seeds there planted because it's for some people it's really difficult to come to that point, even hearing the word flat earth, you know, for the first time. So it's very far if you research or not. So so this uh, the seeds are very important, be it anywhere. So sometimes the people there comes a point when say, you know what, I'm gonna look into this, you know, and maybe so and they even start analyzing by themselves with their age. You know, there are many, many young people who are smart. And if they're given the option to choose and see and they, they will make up their own mind, you know. So so it's always good to, you know, in mild diluted doses sometime, you know, to let the information that is important and is relevant where you can see it by yourself. They can see it by yourself, you know. So, for example, maybe your kids are too small right now to even, you know, to start. So with time, it's, it's we are gonna have some ways to, you know, so more ways. So yeah. So so your Fast. thirteen year old son uh, has he, has he seen the film? Not yet, has not yet, not yet. But he knows about uh, he knows the whole scene about the the what he is in the movie, and he yeah. he knows a lot about the movie. So. He yeah, knows, found... but he's not watching it because one and a half hour he's gonna yeah Go ahead. <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's good yeah yeah pre uh early teens don't always have the patience to sit through something like that oh am I learning something but um my nine year old gets it and he you know he's even trying to do a little bit of flat smacking like planting little seeds with his friends at school which I'm sure uh, the teacher just loves that but you know he asks questions and things. But then my youngest is uh, is five, and she's already been in preschool, and I've, I'm finding that she's like really, really heavily defending uh, the heliopsychosis because that's that's what they focus on. Even for five, four year olds, they're really pushing this uh, space stuff from the get go. That's what they focus on. Yeah, and and with this so imagine how nonsense, much of yeah. Yep. So you can imagine just, how yeah. difficult it is for the people, for youngsters to come overcome this indoctrination that has been done in four when they are four years. It's so deep. That's why it's it's the more difficult part. And and as you say, you know, so once you start leaving that flat earth inside you, you uh, auto automatically resonates that, and you want to share that truth. It be at whatever age you are. You could be a kid. You could be a youngster. You could be, you know, in your mid age or you're almost so everybody feels that you know that earth to yes people should know this you know in a way so and you attract sure. and you you attract and you pu push away people who doesn't resonate with you automatically and things start working in that way too you know automatically in, in all your aspects of life so in a way it's very important to live what you really think and feel also in a way because uh, because if you feel one thing and you're living on another, it's like you are uh, <laughs> deception, making deception to yourself, you know, in a way, because it's not, never going to get you long enough for really have something really stable. And so, yes, so it's and all the, in the end, is the effort. Yep. Yeah, that's it. And, um, 
and so many people who uh, who are who are intellectually dishonest with themselves because because every every defense comes back and back and back to just this trust in the white coat, uh, you know, white coat syndrome or trusting the experts. And that's something that we're, we're so trained to do. But but I wonder, do we need to abandon the term flat earth because it's so triggering to people as soon as, you know, normies hear the term flat earth? It's just they instantly put up this screen and the yeah, rain tunes out and they make a snap judgment against you. And then that's it. It's like the end of the conversation before it's even started. I wonder. Right. Yeah, you start speaking about alien and they're going to listen to you for two hours. Every <laughs> crap you want to say, they're going to listen to you. Okay, You're you talk right. about any You're other right. subjects, no problem. Oh, it's amazing. This is crazy. You can just create now. Now, now people are freaking out how they're going to throw down, you know, they're going to get down the ISS and all. They're having a great time in, in fantasy <laughs> yeah. world, you know. So, Everyone duck and cover. So the ISS might fall on you. Yeah. Everyone get under your desk. So once you speak. Once you speak flat earther, they want to kill you. They want to say, you know what? This is you are you are gone, man. You you are not. You know it's really, and I, it it's just the opposite effect. It just, so it's yeah. The flat earth, we could call it a, another way, globe hoax, or you know not a flat earth, but the word flat earth is still gonna be. It just hits so hard deep down their souls, flat. You know, it just goes. Yeah. Every part yeah, of your soul is said, what is this? Yeah. That's true. <laughs> yeah, maybe uh, flat earth just means like some some rebranding or some uh, or some or using the, the word magic against them in, in some kind yeah. of a way that that allows the conversation to take place before before it's shut down. But the so. problem is the globe has always mixed the geocentric and uh, heliocentric system. <laughs> Right, yeah. it's it's very addictive. The the space, the fake space is so addictive. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I know many flat other things. Oh, that was such a fantastic fantasy world. You could just get lost into, you know. So yeah, but the people don't under, understand that we flat earthers, the physical planes, are also huge. You know, it's more huge than we can even imagine in our imagination, and not only in the physical wise, even you know, up levels up and down. You know, that's had been. Sh said by all cosmologies you know so yeah all the all the all the, how you say the star wars and star trek and all this stuff are actually rip off from the cosmologies ancient cosmologies okay and they yeah, put in the sure. context of space of fake space but everything every information they have and everything they put up in fake space but it's happening here everything from reptilians everything could exist you know aliens extraterrestrial yeah. but here in physical space you know so this the plane is huge, you know, there are no lands, we don't know what's beyond Antarctica, There's, there could be hidden civilizations, or many things could be happening, you know, so it's, it's a way of creating a prison planet where which the globals are really happy, that they know if they go around, they're going to come back to the same place, they know they ain't going anywhere, so it's easy to <laughs> yeah. maintain, you know? know, so it's easy yeah. to maintain, and nobody's going to explore, you know, because if people know there are extra lands, Many, many Indiana Jones and many we're going to born and want to go and explore and, you know, and so this is what they want. So they avoid the majority, 99.9 .9 people by even trying to reach North, 66 North or 66 South, you know, because oh, it's so fucking cold. It's, sorry, sorry for the P word, I'm, F word, I'm but it's so curious. freaking cold and, and, you know, there's nothing but penguins. You're going to die. It's, it's no sun, you know. So it's great yeah. for everybody, you know. So, but there's so much things happening there too. So, and so much of misinformation and confusion. Yeah. I think here is a new one. Is he also your friend, Wicke? Blattyard, Sweden. I don't know. No. C can you see the chat, Wicke? Yeah. 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 Yep. Yeah. yeah. Big hello to everyone in the chat, guys. Thank you for. Listening, yeah. Last time, Lindsay on two seeker two. Yeah, sure, yeah. brother. <laughs> uh, let's show the Hitler video. Maybe we get uh, uh, get uh, a hit from YouTube, but we will show this now from uh, Real Truth Seeker. 
because Dr. Robert Malone, who very created cool. the messenger RNA vaccine, has said no one should ever take these jabs ever, ever, ever. You can stick your vaccine mandates up your ass. You can stick your vaccine mandates up your ass. You can stick your vaccine mandates. Stick your vaccine mandates. You can stick your vaccine mandates up your ass. Two doses of vaccine are simply not enough. You don't want to completely block off the ability for those, you know, people to go there and come back and move around, people to go there and come back and move around. So eventually there will be sort of this digital uh, immunity, digital immunity. It's going to have to go to 7 billion people. On Capitol Hill tonight, the U.S. Senate voting to overturn President Biden's vaccine and testing mandates for private businesses. Very nice speaker. Dr. Robert Malone, who created the messenger <laughs> RNA vaccine. Can you get the door for Frankie, please? Very cool, Vicka. Excellent. Yeah, RT is doing is a great are are doing a great job in promoting all the flat earth material, you know. So the same yeah. like this ad, we even had our three or four trailers running like this for a month before the documentary was out. So we have around only four million views only in the trailers. Yeah, uh, so. Lindsay, Lindsay, you, Lindsay, don't notice, but at the real truth seekers, they have much more uh, call ups from the videos than in YouTube. Uh, more more uploads than YouTube? No, or... more viewers, viewers, watchers. Oh, oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. We can tell her about this. Yeah, yeah, you should. I, I, told, uh, I told Mani to open a channel truth seeker 2 on rts and just links you link your videos to your once your lives have been uh, uploaded you can just link What's them on, on your here? channel and uh, you're gonna have a more reach the people you're gonna have more audience for for your work and and yeah maybe and maybe you're gonna get much more better every time yeah yeah i already recommended you rts you know so you know yeah. and and you, i you recommend want, to yeah. every content creator Yep, go ahead. Are you are you are you in Rockfin? Do you know Rockfin? Yeah, I'm not in Rockfin. I don't know why they are not um, approving yeah. my channel to make my channel. So, but I'm not so much interested in that. So I'm uh, I'm everywhere. Yeah. So I could just concentrate on a few things for now. And so, I, I went. Yeah, I went to Rockfin because Show Hitler is in and Eric Dupe and ODD and all the the all the guys uh, which make the next level mm -hmm. that's why I awesome mean, awesome yeah um, awesome you know yeah. Uh, I, I, I really love uh show he plus work he, he's a nice guy uh valley parks has a question so what is rts that is real truth seekers is that just real truth seekers.com or yeah not yeah dot com or dot net Lindsay, we asked the question. Ah, here. Yeah. I'm going to see if I can just finger. share it in the chat here. Okay. Just give me a second. Yeah, sure, 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 sure. Do it. And I yeah, but anyway, you... I'll be jumping out in a couple of minutes, guys, because uh, I've got yeah, to drop yeah, my yeah. wife. If not, if not, she's going to throw me out of the house. <laughs> yeah. you oh, wait. You... wait, literally? We can told me this. Oh. It's okay. Uh oh. Oops. Okay, I'll leave my channel link of the RTS here in the in the chat. Okay. Yeah. Make this in the live. For sure. There it is. Okay. I just shared. Well, thank you yeah. so much. Thank you so much for joining this morning uh, or this yeah. afternoon. We really appreciate it. And it's it really nice, nice to speak with you. Nice to hear. Hey, you. The pleasure is mine to be with you guys. It was really, I enjoyed it a lot. And I think we should do some more investigation or some. Just like this, we could speak anything. Uh, you know, I have maybe 10 videos other than the documentary. 
really detailed yeah. stuff. We can always discuss anything. If we schedule it right, but I could be here for a bit longer, we could always do so. Count on me if you guys think something appropriate. We could chat and discuss here. Yeah, it would be amazing. And thank you to Truth Seekers too for this awesome live session. Sure. And uh, sure. also to the viewers and everyone. Money, thank you again, brother. Yeah, sure, brother. Thanks, Lindsay. Much, much love. Much love. <laughs> flat thumb, flat thumb, yes, flat for thumb. Sure, for sure, Thank you, guys. Sure. Yeah, that was great. Victor, have, have a good day, brother. See you. Yes. Bye. Ciao. Yes, good Bye. Abend. Bye. Good Abend. Bye. Thank you, schön, brother. Good Abend. Ciao. All right. So, Lindsay, it's time to show the trailer for the next level. It's time. Yeah. In a world that is flat. <laughs> yeah. Of <laughs> course. <laughs> you can believe in your corrupt system. Mm. So we are on Shohibla's channel. I also will, uh, will link his channel after our life. Uh, thank you, Show, for all your work. Show is now at the Flat Earth Millionaire. Lindsay, do you know this? Oh, it, he's a... Uh, he uh, flies over to Tender Stewart. Oh, oh. Yeah. Maybe you can you can look an Instagram on his page and upload a video now. Oh, okay. Oh. All I'm offering is the truth. Whether you choose to see it or not, the truth is always in plain sight. Water always finds and maintains its own level. No matter what you were told, the reality is the Earth is not a spinning and orbiting magical globe. You've been brainwashed to believe in a corrupt system that steals your mind and money in the process. A small group of people entertain you with CGI actors. actors. And green screen. You can believe we are traveling at ridiculous speed. That's your choice. The truth is, yeah. we are absolutely, absolutely motionless. This spring. Take a step back from the fairy tales and a step forward into Houston, we have a problem. The next level. Yeah. So, Oops. Oops. all good. We are always in connection with the iPhone when we show a video or something like this. Should I bring the StreamYard link in the chat that Mette can jump in if he wants? Oh, sure. You can, anyone who anyone likes can like jump in. Yeah. So, here is, is the Is Sanabel still in there? Yeah, he was. Uh, he was uh, yeah. Before he was there. Okay. And am I pulling up? Pulling up should I start with the memes uh, part 10 that we didn't finish yesterday? Yeah, but you also, uh, can you show the, the photo from Shaw Hibler oh, sure, and, sure. and Tanner Stewart? Because okay. when I see this, <laughs> this was really, really lovely. Okay. <coughs> Share screen. They are really cool. Yeah, so, here it is. Yeah. So, <laughs> where, where? Oh, East Texas is that? Yeah. Is that where uh, Flat Earth Millionaire lives? Yeah. Oh. Yes, indeed. And yes. they give. They don't give. Uh, they only. I don't know what's the a handshake. What's the the right name? They, they, they don't handshake? Yeah. Uh, they, uh, oh, yeah. They do the bro one. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yes. They, they oh. so cool. I love it. Uh, here's the video that you showed before. Uh, yeah. Oh, gosh. Look at this shit. Yeah. 
we know. I can't handle you, that. Uh, make uh, please open it again. I wrote uh, a comment. It hurts my heart, bro. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Yeah. The worst part is that these kids were probably like three when this um, shit demic started two years ago. Yeah. So, and that's around the age that children start retaining memories that form the foundation for the rest of their lives. So they're that's all true. they're all fucked in the head. Sadly. Yes, I'm off over. Brooke will jump in. Let me get my cha-cha. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Here's a good one for me for memes. Yeah. Oh sure. Uh what am I doing here? Okay, are we um are we starting with the memes part? Uh, Lindsay, where are you? Here I, I can don't... see my ex-girlfriend. I don't want to see her. What? <laughs> <laughs> Your ex-girlfriend, what? Yeah. Where? Open the window again. What did I have open? Oh, yeah, there? I, oh, yeah. I'm so sorry. No <laughs> problem. <laughs> <laughs> Stay back, witch. Yeah. Um, sorry. No, she, uh, okay, avert your eyes for a minute because I just got to open up memes part. Yeah. Oops. Should I do memes part nine? Because we didn't, I don't think we did that one. Yeah, at all. yeah. Yeah, yeah, we were upwards the middle, I think. Um, do, 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 yeah, do, sing this song. Do, 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 do. Elevator music. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you goof. We love this. Um, is Maddie going to come in? Uh, yeah, he will jump in, but I don't see him now. Um, hey, Graham, I need to use the mouse, or do you know where there's another mouse? Yeah, you need a mouse. Oh, that's too much. Graham, can I have that one? Oh, please. Please. Why did this go all weirdly? Uh, um, because... Graham, I need a mouse because it makes it much easier for me to scroll when I'm showing memes. All right. And Graham, we, mm. we don't have any, any sounds in the background, Lindsay, when you have a mouse. Oh, uh, okay. Graham, please. 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 Pretty please with sugar on top. Yeah. And please, Graham. And okay, hang on one second. Yeah, yeah. So I will show you a video I have done for Hippler Production. Ah, Lens is back. So, why I cannot hear you now? That's bullshit. I muted my mic on accident. Yeah, yeah, you are back in. All right. It's flat, guys. It's flat. For sure. <laughs> okay, globe heads be like, I see the curvature from 39,000... 760 feet. Yeah, and on oh. the ground. Oh, shit. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, people tell you that they see the curvature all the time from planes. It's bullshit. That's true, Lindsay. <laughs> <laughs> Simple Jack can't handle this. Where's the donut? Ah, oh, that's better. Upside down water. Um, yeah. Hang on one second. Yeah. Uh, globe card. I don't like to use this word because it's not very kind. <laughs> Look at his face. Yeah. Okay. Earth has always been flat. Learn the history. Ancient flat earth books, Holy Bible, the Quran, and what is it? Is it the Talmud? Old yeah, flat earth books and, and modern and then, flat earth books. In the middle is my loveliest flatest books. Yes. 
Is the Bible from heaven? Is the earth a globe? Alex Gleason. That's why we re research him. Yes. Maybe, maybe uh, today you can read one letter from the Alex Gleason book, Lindsay. Sure, as long as you pull it up for yeah. me. It's ready. I'm ready. It's ready. <laughs> it, 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 it's open now. Okay. Uh, Globe Earth Proof. Oh, he's so proud of himself. Look what I've got. Yeah. Not for educational purposes, by the way. Okay. Breaking news. China set to land on dark side of the sun. No, you're shitting me. Please help someone. Is yeah, this, this was, this was is like this a real Matt, headline. This was when Martin said the disc of the no. sun. The disc of the sun. Yeah, they're going to land on the other side of the Can disc. Can you remember this? When we yeah, were left with Santa Sun. Yeah, mentioning that it's a disc because uh, it's it, I don't think it's anything that you can land on. It's a projection. But I want to see I want to see this news article. I want to see cuz this this guy John Stewart, he's from an American uh, political satire show. So, but he does usually include real headlines. I want to I want to read more about that. I want to see what people are saying about that. Hang on one second. Okay, we're good. The coin doesn't disappear over curvature. The table is flat. Here's the sky, here's the ground. Yep. Wow. This is so good right here, Manny. That's a good one. It's a really good, can you still hear me? Did I lose you? Where's Manny? He's gone. Oh, sh shoot. What do I do, guys? Oh, wait. Maybe I'll check with him on, on the phone and be like, what happened, Manny? Did you lose internet connection? Okay. Okay. Okay, sure. Okay, Manny's connection sucks, so... Um, I'll just continue on for a little bit while he gets back in. Um, yeah, this is wonderful. This is wonderful, guys. <laughs> it's so simple. When they say that we are all from Africa, now I get it. Africa covers the earth. The we all live in Africa conspiracy. Oh, yeah. That's, uh... <sighs> Official NASA footage, guys. This sucks. Do you guys out there in the chat world? Do you do you have people in your life? How do you how do you handle being a flat earther who knows stuff like this? Do you do you try and evangelize flat earthiness to your neighbors and your mail carriers, or do you just keep it to yourself? How do you broach this topic with people? Does anyone care? Does anyone care? Uh, here's. <laughs> Oh gosh, here's NASA taking a giant dump into everyone's brains. Oh dear. <clears throat> Memes aren't as fun without Manny here. Okay, so Ketu is the north node. Rahu is the south node. Oh, that's interesting. This shape here reminds me of the the isotope shape of uh, of an atom. Yeah, because it is, maybe. If you're a fan of the show The Simpsons, uh, Homer's baseball team for his work was called the Springfield Isotopes. Okay, translucent like the moon, solid like the sun. Perfect system, perfect atom. Yeah, and I've seen I've seen videos of the eclipse that basically uh, 
blow the whole thing open because whatever is whatever is yeah it's not the moon it's it's this i think we can pull up some videos in a bit <laughs> flat earth globe earth oh can you imagine being upside down <laughs> flat earth nonsense how's it going manny Okay. Yeah, he's he's trying to see if the modem is going to be cool. Okay, zooming. What have we got here? We've got an astronaut actress up here. What's she... Sh <laughs> Can she zoom? <laughs> zoom in all the way from space and get this image? Why is there no such recording? Because there can't be. Ten years challenge. 2009. Still waiting for the space tourism. 2019. Still waiting for the space tourism. Is that, oh gosh. Just keep making them bigger. Add a couple of balls on there while you're at it, Richard Branson. Oops. Fish eye, CGI, reality. Okay. <laughs> Globies pass flat earthers like, like bird box style. Who is trying to call me right now? Whoever it is, I'm not talking to them. Oh, Manny says there's some maskers walking around outside his house, creeping up the place. <laughs> they, he says they brought down his internet connection, huh? Okay. Me, where is gravity now? Aha. Uh -huh. So it floats in salt water. It's suspended in fresh water and salt water mixed, and it sinks in fresh water. Gotta explain these things. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, are you good, Manny? I'm going to check now. Oopsie. I just opened it. I'm back. I'm back. Okay, good. Yeah, maybe the mask, the mask, uh, child and uh, adults outside my apartment were kicking out my internet. <laughs> <laughs> With the power of their bullshit. Yeah, you are right, Lindsay. That's okay. I, We're more powerful. I, I bring up Stay some flat. light. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> for sure. A, sma uh, a smashing novel of super science. Amazing stories. A giant calculating machine decides to rule the world. The Brain by Alexander Blade. If only the brain did rule the world or the heart actually the heart would be better yeah. all aboard for the moon so Mette, if you hear us i uh, linked it i linked the stream yard link in the chat they call it science fiction because hmm well we know why yeah it's only fiction <laughs> yes it is not possible to get perfect circular time-lapse star trails around Polaris if the Earth is spinning, orbiting the sun, and flying through the universe for thousands of years in this spiral vortex, as scientists claim. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we're going to show you uh, maybe a little bit later on in this show this amazing uh, ancient device. Yeah, that yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. It's called the Antikythera device. We'll show you some little clips from that if I can cue up something. A 2,000 year old computer. Yes. That predicts all of this. They have it down to perfect calculation without error. So... Should I load the video in the background because this also takes some time? No, I've already got it. Ah, you done this. Yeah. Great. I never have an issue with like loading stuff, maybe because my internet's 
pretty good here. But yeah, no, normally it's all, also good at my home. I don't know every time uh, or sometimes when we go live, it doesn't work. Oh, okay. Yeah, but it uh, it always works when we go live with Santos and Martin. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and yesterday it also did very very good. Good. Uh, flat Earth first hand evidence personal experience. Flat, long distance photography and camera zoom. Yeah, um, this is Chicago right here. This is this is the impossible picture, and um, and people don't understand about about that law of perspective that as something moves far away from you from on a flat surface, it appears to dip below the horizon. So my brother's like, oh, it should look way taller over there. Um, I'm I'm working on. Busting yeah, his, yeah, do it. Globe head. Lindsay, Lindsay, Lindsay only opened uh, something for a rolly. Yes, I did. Um, what's up, Rolly? Oh, for Edith too? Sure. Sure, sure. What do you give the kids, Lindsay? Don't worry about it, Manny. <laughs> oh, ask, right. ask, ask me no questions, and I'll tell you no lies. Yeah. All right. Globe Earth, firsthand evidence, personal experience. Oh my gosh, it's such, it's so cool. It's amazing. Flat Earth proofs. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. This is this is this. We have the spinning above. And spinning. And spinning below. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so beautiful. Yeah. Hey, Amete will jump in. Okay, All right. right. Yeah. Come in, brother. Hey, brother. Can you hear me? Hey, Manny. Yeah. Hey, hey, ladies. Hey, ladies. Hey, I, can he I can hear the birds singing. That sounds so nice. You can hear the birds? Yeah. Okay. I just want to see. I changed my uh, my headphones. I got some Bose plugins, like the old school, with the cable. Yeah, that's good. Oh, nice. Lindsay, stay at the. Uh, okay, okay. Is it too loud? No, you're great. No. It's All pleasant. Good. We love the birds. Yeah. And we need you for the memes. <laughs> <laughs> great. <laughs> I love meme time. Really. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is and, so gorgeous. Do and, you think the photographer knows it's flat here? Sorry, Lindsay. Uh, Mette, don't jump away. When we are finished, stay in the chat. Okay. I, I, I just want to tell you, I have to... Um, I'm going to get how, a phone call, and I have to leave when I get the phone call. So I figured, let me jump on. It might be an hour. It might be 10 minutes. I have no idea. Yeah, okay. yeah. No problem. Thank you. We will. We you can always jump in, brother. Thank you, man. You're, you're great. Yes, Thank you, Lindsay. Yay! Flat smacker. <laughs> Anyone with eyes can see that the sun is not ninety-three million miles away, unless you've got your heliocentric uh, glasses on, and everything's going to look like what they tell you to see. <laughs> Flat Earth water is always level. <laughs> Baller curvature. <laughs> it looks like uh, Zoolander. It is. That, it is Zoolander. Is that Zoolander? Yeah, that's uh, that's Simple Jack. That's uh, that's it's his hysterical. <laughs> that's hysterical. Have, have you ever seen the film Tropic Thunder? That's what this yes. is. From. No yes. No way. Uh, that yeah. Was a great film. Yeah. They. Um, he. So he was an actor in that film, and um, and he was trying to go after the Oscar. <laughs> because uh, never go always, full retard. Right? Never go full retard. Well, right. this is simple, Jack. What do you mean, you people? That was great. <laughs> Robert Downey Jr. Oh my gosh! Right. That was hysterical. Look at that! What, look at that! A bird did to the airplane. Yeah. Yeah. And they a, tell a us. Yeah, they tell us uh, Seven Eleven was real. Right. It cut through steel. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and it and it comes out the other side unscathed. Right. Unscathed. It's like throwing a Pepsi can at yeah, the ground uh, and expecting it to go through the concrete. Mette, please, please read this. Let me see. It's very, very small. According to the United States, <clears throat> sorry, Space Surveillance Network, there are more than 21,000 objects larger than 10 centimeters orbiting the Earth. 
uh, just a small fraction of these are operational satellites. It's estimated there are a further 500,000 bits and pieces between 1 and 10 centimeters in size. It makes me wonder why the International Space Station um, does not have any ceiling hatches that would have... I'm reading this wrong. I can't even see it. Um, oh, shit. Do not have Lens any ceiling hatches Lens that would happen if... Yeah, Liz, can you take what would What would happen if one of these of those half million pieces of debris smashes into it with the space station hitting a piece of debris at 17,500 miles per hour. Right. I would expect a major disaster for NASA, but we hear nothing of any accidents the entire time it's been up there. Well, you know what Don Pettit said. <laughs> you just closed the window. Yeah. Yeah, you do. Yeah. And, and, and if Don something Pettit goes wrong, this. If there's a leak, you just fix it. Right, you just fix it. <laughs> yeah. You just get your tools and, you know, get out there. It might even require a spacewalk, but you just right. you just do it. The bed it. Yeah, I love seeing that ISS. You know, oh, I, fuck. I, I installed thousands of, 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 like, Cat 5 lines, you know, like Category 5, the blue wires that used to go into computers, mm -hmm. right? And it, it's, it's very messy when you have to cut off the – the sheathing of the wires, the wires themselves, if they're solid core, you know, they're, yeah. they're solid wires. If they're, if they're um, not, they're stranded wires. So they're very tiny, tiny strands of, of you know, copper wire, virgin copper, 100% free oxygen, free copper wire. There's no way you could do that. You know, like, the, like in the ISS, they have this huge like computer array. You know, it looks like a whole server farm. And I'm like, where did they do that? Do you know how filthy it is when you, like me and, and like three other technicians would work, you know, 12 hours installing those cables? Do you know how much debris is on the floor? Mm. Like there's literally a mound of it, a mound of just yeah. plastic. Yeah, and in zero gravity, wouldn't all those little bits and pieces right. get, get stuck and stuff? And, right, yeah. especially the, uh, the parts that are highly conductive with electricity. You know, I think the way that they get around um, people asking these questions is uh, you notice that in cartoons and movies and things um, where where there's some accident that goes wrong in space, like Manny and I, uh, we showed a little snippet from a Disney cartoon the other day where yeah. uh, Pluto and Mickey are out in, in outer space. I saw it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> there's always some little disaster, some little mini disaster that happens and they have to fix it and all the odds are against them right. and it has to line up just perfectly Always or they have does. to they have to reattach in just such a way and if they don't it's certain doom but they always manage to fix it yeah there's and never a mistake in space right so there's one yeah. there's one they made a movie about it yeah and we we get the strike i had to cut this out from our life i knew we would it's disney man that's our yeah. that's one right? of our biggest that's one of our biggest Nemesis. enemies that's yeah but uh, I did, I did an hour away. <laughs> but they still loaded it up in uh, Instagram. Yeah, they'll take it down eventually. That's okay. Yeah. <laughs> ho ho hoax. <laughs> Sarah Tree. Did you, hey, did you guys see the, the? I don't know if it's fake or not, but there was a video when when the alleged Lem was leaving Moon. There is a Canadian maple leaf that that shoots up. If you put it in slow mo, super slow motion, you see a Canadian maple leaf in the dust. Have you ever seen that video? No. No. You should guys should look for that. I don't know where. I think Douglas from UAP might have shown that. Okay. But they, they literally it's a it's a really fast thing. And if you're not paying attention, you will miss it. But there's a damn maple leaf in the yeah. debris. Why they do a Canadian thing if it was? Uh, I don't what, what, know. You never know what these people are up to. You know, they're all Masons and they all yeah. have secrets. Signs and symbols hidden mm -hmm. everywhere. Uh, Nineteen sixty-nine. Man steps onto the moon. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty eighteen. Still waiting for space tourism. Right. So true. Right. Yeah. Uh, Maddie, my, I had mentioned this before, but my son had pointed out, he's like, wait a second, why why did the fake moon landing happen in 1969? Why did they choose yeah, six, that number? Six, 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 six. 
Yeah. Okay. And also 69 being like a kind right. of a joke. Of course. Yeah. For sexuality. And, right. And they're both the same upside down in the mirror image as mm -hmm. well. Yeah. And they both have the same value if you flip them. And it's right. what they call the trickster's number, the devil's number. It's six or nine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, so here's the live TV signal from the moon in 69. <laughs> right. Right. Oh, yeah. Did we have these? We just didn't see them. Drop cam. They got a drop cam up there. <laughs> Zero active cameras on the moon in 2018. Right. Yeah, we should be able to have a 24-7 a uh, right. moon, moon streaming. Like, like, it'll we've, be like a moon or Google or a moon. It would be yeah, like Google moon. Yeah, we've got live yeah. streams of pandas well, well, in the well, zoo. Well, well, well. Uh, right. You know? right. Exactly. We have live streams of, uh, of eagles. <laughs> you, know, you could watch eagles in the, in the wilderness. Hang on one but, second. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go ahead. Sorry, just answering my son here. <clears throat> Maybe you can read this, Mette. On a ball earth, Johannesburg, South Africa to Perth, Australia should be a straight shot over the Indian Ocean with convenient refueling possibilities in, what's that say? Mauritius. Mauritius or Madagascar. Uh, in actual practice, however, most Johannesburg to Perth flights curiously stop, stop over either in Dubai, Hong Kong, or Malaysia, all of which make no sense on the ball, uh, but are completely understandable when mapped on a flat earth. Right? Mm -hmm. yeah. that, that does make sense on a flat earth. It's right there, straight shot. Sure yeah. do. <laughs> That's true. <cute. laughs> In that book, uh, what was it like 25 uh, landings, emergency landings or something? Yeah. You know, uh, about. Mm. Yeah that proof that these slight pets are nonsense yeah there's so many of them they all follow the same principle olib island croatia from zadar 45 kilometers you can see it it's kind of light there mm -hmm. so by the earth curve calculator olib island the highest elevation is 74 meters that's only that's only like 220 feet, but you can see it from 45 miles away. Yeah, mm. you can see it's 45 miles away. <laughs> that's a, oh wait, that's a long try driving. Oh, I'm sorry. For, I'm sorry. 45 kilometers. So that's that's less further. Than, no, less. Less. But still, there should be some no, curvature. There should be. No, sorry, Lindsay. Matt, the now the sound from you is much better than before. I went inside. Oh. Yeah. How's the weather over there, by the way, in Tampa? Awesome. It's like one of the most beautiful times of the year. This is why I moved to Florida. Oh. Lente, please zoom in and show the, the picture. Yeah. Uh, oh, I don't know. You, you, can, you can use a Steuerung on the tastatur and scroll in with the mouse no i so can't we... how i've got this oh, thingy but it just goes up and down oh, oh shit. now we can see it when catholics make the sign of the cross on their body it forms an upside down cross Oy. the evil ones always have an explanation to deceive the masses such as it represents peter's death but it masks the true symbolism of the harlot church as it represents antichrist and is used by the church of satan that's true. That's interesting. Yeah. Never do you know, this. You know, oh. Manny, as an, as an altar boy, I had I had a genuflect and, and, and cross myself all the time. And yeah. You know, when you genuflect, you're making your body into a cross. Like when you go down on your knee and you, you know what I mean? Like the I know what you mean, yeah. Yeah. Uh, of your body is of a cross and then you make a cross in the cross if that makes sense so hence double cross oh wow yeah even the word altar boy like am i altered have mm. i been have i been altered am i on the altar you know like it's such a sacrificial kind of meaning in, in a lot of ways yeah mm. blah 
Oh, and by the way, when we showed that little clip earlier, uh, you missed it. It was a little uh, clip, Maddie, from um, from something that Sean put out on Real Truth Seekers. Uh, but it was showing clips of all the evil dudes like Kill Gates and ugh, all of them. And it just made me it just made me feel physically ill. I don't know if you guys feel this as well, but like when I see, I'm like so much more sensitive to imagery and and faces. Yeah, female and, intuition as well. And sound, well, you know, yeah. you're, you're, you're honed in. You're a yeah, but, but the song is really nice, Lindsay. Uh, the song, yeah. You can put your wax and mend it up your ass. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You can stick your boxes back and some up your ass. <laughs> I love those guys. Yeah. They've got, they've got balls. Yeah. For All sure. Right. What are we looking at here? I can't even. Our okay, ribbons. we got some. What is that? Some, some, uh, some horrible pipe? rivets. I would never no, allow it, that out of my garage if that looked like that. They said that That's this tape, is the mass, mass rover. Uh -huh. That's tape. <laughs> Yeah, it's we know. Safe. We know. What we the know. F? <laughs> Look, you can see the reflection here. But do you know they also have a helicopter on the Wandering Star? No. <laughs> they say. I'm going to fly. How could it possibly yeah. get lift? Yeah, you, you get it. nothing to push against. Space it's technology. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. What the fuck? Uh, right. What the fuck? <laughs> Fuck? Hey, Lindsay, you lo you load your new uh, your new uh, memes, and I bring in a short video from Don Pettit, and oh, we Pettit. we have the best laugh of our <laughs> life. We actually love Don Pettit I because he because he gives us so much. He yeah. really does. Yeah. <laughs> He's true. so giving to the flat Earth community. He is. He's a yeah. wealth. He's a fountainhead. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> I'm Don Pettit. I'm a NASA astronaut. And I'm on the Sounds International good. Space mm -hmm. Station. Yeah. Yeah. We're currently about 240 nautical miles above the surface of Earth. Space Station is a serious place. We're doing serious research, scientific research and engineering research. We have a regenerative life support system, which is a fancy way of saying that we've got a toilet that you use and then a machine that goes chugga, 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 chug. And then you go to the galley and you make yourself a cup of coffee. And that's exactly what you are thinking it is. And this is the kind of engineering research that we're doing on space station. It's needed so that when we go to Mars, we won't run out of water. And of course, not only would you have angry birds if you ran out of water, you'd have angry human beings too. I want to do some physics demonstrations that involve some of the things you might see in the Angry Birds game. And of course, I've got my angry bird here, but we need a pig. Well, I'm not very good at art. It's a good thing I decided to be a scientist and an engineer instead of an artist, because I'd, I'd probably be starving by now. OK, here, here is Pig. And of course, Pig is the arch enemy of Angry Bird. And Angry Bird had some eggs. And Pig stole the eggs. And don't ask me how I got to eggs on Space Station. I've got a bungee spread across the hatchway. And this bungee is kind of like a slingshot. And I'm going to show the trajectory that Redbird is going to have when I fire him with this orbital slingshot. Launching Redbird into space. Well, hey, we're already in the space. Whoa, look at that, Whoa, all the way down. 
that's an example of a trajectory. It's a straight line from our perspective here. Gravity will attract an object if it's moving in a straight line, and it will no longer move in a straight line. It gets bent, and it goes in a curved trajectory. And guess what? Astronauts have to worry about these things because if you're in a rocket, and say you're trying to get from one orbit and rendezvous a space station, you end up going in curved trajectories, and you need to know how to fire your rocket engines so that you can go from where you are to where you want to be. And if you understand the math, if you understand the physics, it will allow you to go out and get a neat job, a job sort of like mine, where you're an astronaut and you can fly in space. Learn about these subjects in school. You can also learn about these subjects while you're playing games. What happens when something like an angry bird gets their eggs stolen by pig? This is all that's left of pig after pig got exploded. And we got to see all of this in a weightless environment, which is what the Angry Bird space game is going to be like with gravity fields from planetary bodies. Yeah, I met this. Yeah, that was oh, great. Bless, <laughs> bless, that, bless his really douchey cool. self. Oh my God. <laughs> I, I told Lent uh, uh, when when we when we showed the video, Tom Bennett is the greatest flat earther. He's the he's the number one flat earth proof. Yeah. Right. <laughs> if you want it, yeah. Don't don't, don't ask me where I got these eggs. Don't yeah. ask me. That's the first one I wanted to to, uh, to touch on. Where did um, they get those eggs? How did they get eggs in the space? Yeah. He'd probably say, trust uh, me, it's a really complicated process and you don't want to hear about how complicated it is because that's how complicated it is. Getting I had to break so many laws and regulations and rules. And, yeah. and uh, Kapelosha, see you do a thread with the clown world, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Can you yeah. see the chat, Matty? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. see Kappa. Yeah. Hey, Kapelosha, it's 420. <laughs> and the cool thing was, when you go on the toilet and in space, uh, the machine makes chaka chaka chaka. Yeah, and coffee. And that's what you think we do. <laughs> chaka chaka chaka. Yeah. It, what it makes it makes coffee. Mm -hmm. yeah. After the chaka chaka chaka. Mm -hmm. Chaka chaka. chaka. Make... That's that's coffee. <laughs> that's them making coffee. Yeah. Definitely on the spectrum. Space space toilets. Holy crap. Yeah. Yeah, uh, and and they and they say that that water up there is so is so heavy and precious to okay. get up there that they right. have to recycle even their sweat from inside of their suits. They say even the sweat is recycled. Everything right. is recycled, and yet they have all this goofy stuff up there like toys, eggs, right. eggs, right. musical <laughs> instruments, guitars, they, yeah, they have alleys, a bagpipe. <laughs> Golf clubs, <laughs> soccer balls. I mean, it's like a kid's corner, you know. Playtime. That's true. Yeah. Let me plug this thing up. Holy crap. Yeah, well, if, if all the good little children do their studies in school, they could end up with a cool job like his. Um, yeah. I mean, I, I'd call him a failed actor, but I guess he's doing okay for himself as an actor. Well, I saw something yeah. Don Pettit was. was was doing something for NASA and he was trying to reach um, children that were on the autistic spectrum. Like okay. specifically, he was like, look, I'm looking for like, basically like, um, I'm not doing it justice, but like we're looking for children that are on the spectrum because those t they're, they're typically um, like good. Um, they typically like truth. They typically like, uh, they don't like, um, uh, people being robbed that, you know what I mean? They're, they're like, um, they have a moral fiber that's mm -hmm. strong. You typically, a lot of autistic children. So I think they just want to get them and just brainwash them as, as hard as possible, as fast as possible. Cause they could be the most, you know, um, cause they would be powerful. loyal. Yes. They, they would be very loyal and they would be a powerful adversary if, if they all come together. 
but that's a thing. You, if you lie to uh, an autist, they are going to really come back at you hard because mm. they do not like being lied to. So was he saying that he wanted to recruit? Yes. Um, yeah, it was like a recruitment like thing for, for, for NASA. NASA. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was wow. on this channel, this guy Jim Bob's channel, uh, just J-I-M-B-O-B. Mm. Yeah, the artist. Um, and he was, yeah, he was talking about it. He does memes. And he on his show, I think yesterday or the day before, he was talking about it. He was reading. He had, he had put it up on the screen. And he was uh, reading it. Mm. And he was saying, you know, this would be like an awesome trap to get these poor kids caught up in a NASA in the wrong way. Just yeah. Slides of them. Yeah, it's exploiting that that um, goodness and that. Um, right. Yeah, that's wild. They know it. You're you're dealing with master manipulators here. They've been doing this for God knows how long. Way no, before I, we were here. About a about a year ago, uh, into the shit demic, um, I I saw this really disturbing video um, of a of a, a young man who was somewhere on the autism spectrum, obviously, and he had. Uh, he, I don't know if he wrote the song or if it was given to him to learn, but he got up on stage in New York City in public and performed this song, basically praising Dr. Fauci and calling calling him. Wow. You know, you see know, what I mean? Um, you see you know, how like, powerful? Like, please, Dr. Fauci, you know, help us. And he's right. he's so gung ho and he's really feeling it. You can see how sincere right. he is. Right. But he's being taken advantage of. He's being this used. As a, he's being propped up. Right. And used as a mouthpiece, basically. And how do you tell a, a kid who's doing that to stop it? There's no, it's, it's impossible. You can't say, hey, um, you can't pull them aside and say, you, everything you know, you've been lied to. You know, it's, mm. like I say, it's virtually impossible to tell somebody. Else. And, and, yeah. yeah this information I'm sorry. I'm sorry, my dog is barking. Does puppy want to come say hi? Okay. Oh, Matt, Matt, they only switched off his microphone. Puppy, 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 puppy. Tap down on that. Flat Earth dog. He knows. No. F E D. F E D in the house. I have two cats. Two cats. Oh, maybe dogs, 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 cats, but he's cats, wrong. He's wrong. Cats are cool, Manny. I have twin boy cats. Oh, no. I adopted them. Oh, cats. The red cats. Oh, ginger cats. Oh, ginger cats. cats. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh. Yeah, we'll come around. Okay. Um, okay. Should we um, show, should we show yeah, the next uh, part of uh, memes, or do you have a memes? short video, or do you want me to short try and pull up the anti Catherine one? What? And do I have an echo? Yeah, yes. do, do this. Yeah, I have uh, one. I have one. No, Lindsay has no echo uh, at my place. I, I can hear it. I, I can hear myself echo this way. I can hear myself echo this way. Mm. Mm. Uh, maybe, no you, mute. maybe you. Maybe uh, you. Can you hear me, Matty, when you mute me? And you also have echo. Oh. Oh, now, no? now I can't no, hear no. Matty at all. No, yeah, he moved. I, mu his I muted myself. Oh, okay. I muted it. Oh. it was a problem. Yeah. It was a problem. So yeah. I still hear you, so Lindsay, echoing echo a little bit. Mm. I hear me terrible. You're fine. Um, manage. Yeah. You're fine, manage. You'll yeah. manage. <laughs> You'll manage. You'll manage. Yeah, we, 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 we manage everything, Mette. Yes, you do. Yeah. Yes. Okay, uh, I'm, Santos okay, I'm, uh, wrote me the best day he will go live with us Lindsay, is Thursday, no? Oh, okay. Oh. Uh, let's see if he can go live with us. On Thursday. Um, my, um, my, my mouse stopped my working. Mouse stopped like, working. like my, uh, like my cursor. My like cursor. I can't click on things anymore <laughs> on my screen. On my screen. I can't switch tabs. I can't tab. click on anything. Click on anything. Yeah. Uh, for me, it's okay when we uh, say goodbye to the people, or do you want to stay longer online? Lindsay, it's up to you. Well, yeah. I've, yeah I've, oh, is that that phone call you were expecting? Yeah, me? yeah. Uh, but stay in, Mette. Uh, uh, who knows how long he has to be gone for. Yeah, yeah, sure. But we can jump out, or should I bring a video in? For me, is everything fine? 
Uh, a video um, about five minutes. Sure. Sure. Let's do that. Maybe Let's I can do that. Maybe I'll, um, maybe I'll how about I restart yeah. my computer in the meantime? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, we'll share my screen. Our screen is sharing right now. Boop, boop, boop. Sounds on. Belief is the enemy of knowing. One more song, Mette. Woke up this morning, turned on the news, another deadly virus. <laughs> Leave that if you choose, but I won't.
send me no war, no. Cause I know better than that. Woke up this morning, turn on the news. I see right through those lies, but you can believe them if you choose. But I won't. I know better than that. You ain't gonna take my mind, no. Cause I know, I know better than second Matty yeah okay. Lindsay will jump in soon I have her on my phone but uh, she needs to restart her computer technical difficult everything's technical. <laughs> yeah <laughs> Definic, difficult uh, difficulties difficulties <laughs> yeah we always it's all have good. To... It's all good. Yeah, for sure. Man, help me out. Am I sounding okay? Yeah, you are really great. Okay, Chris. But, I hear but, echo in my in my my own thing, but I know you said get get something like that. Yeah, maybe you uh, can hear it because Lens is also in my ear, but I oh, let okay. her I let her in my ear. She sneaks in your ear. Okay. Yeah. That's nice. That must be nice. Yeah. I have a I have a devil in my ear. <laughs> you know. Mm. Okay. All right. So hey. I'm on my phone now. Oi. Yeah. Um, Lindsay, you can you can uh, bring on your headset. Oh yeah. Can because, I? Because oh, or do you hear us? No, I can't. Uh, I this, you're just you're just uh, here. My computer is it looks broken. Uh, you are live with the iPhone. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, the best thing is we say goodbye to the to the people now. Matty, we will go live uh, in a few days again. Yeah. Okay. Unless yeah. there's anything you want to talk about, yeah. I mean, I'm fine. I just can't. I just can't do screen yeah. stuff right now. I have a yeah. couple things, but I, I'll wait. I'll wait. Yeah, but please stay in. Only say goodbye to the people, and then we speak to each other okay. and stream yet. So goodbye, flat Damstool. Thanks that you are watching us. Thanks, Wicker. Flatten the curve. Yeah, that was yeah. great. Yeah, good it, was good. it was good to yeah. have him. Yeah, and also say thanks to Santos Bonacci for all the shares and Martin, of course. Of course. Yeah. Eric and Sean Hebler and the Flatters Millionaire. And everyone Eric, in the chat today. Right? Eric, yeah, everybody and in Eric, everyone in the chat. Cheers. Cheers, Kappa. Cheers, Kappa. Oi, hippie. Oh, hippie. They blah, blah, blah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're talking about toothpaste. Very important. Yeah. You're not using any fluoride, are you, Maddie? In your toothpaste? Mm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> No. Wayne use, Wilson. You know, oh, Wayne, doing... Wayne Wilson. I've never seen your name before, but thanks for yeah. joining us. I like We're the double double. Double double. And let Wayne the finger Wilson. from from <laughs> Lindsay. <laughs> huh? <laughs> no, all good. <laughs> okay. So, ciao. Goodbye. Flat thumbs. Happy Friday. Have a wonderful weekend, yeah, everyone. Happy Friday, everybody. Yeah. It's been a hell of a week.